This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 11th of November. I'm James Spann. Ooh, what a great Veterans Day today. Nice and mild. All seems right with the world. But look out. The coldest air so far this season will blow in here tomorrow. Let's take a look out the window with the Skycam shots. And boy, what a great day this has been. That's our Tuscaloosa Skycam. The sun is shining. We've got spots around here in the low and mid-70s. That's our Skycam coming from Hamilton High School up in Marion County. Looks like the Aggies are still in the playoffs. So it looks like they're practicing, getting set for round two, which will be this Friday night. And down the road, that's the Fayette County Courthouse, where the sky there is deep blue. But uh-oh, you can see trouble coming. You can see how the northern branch of the jet stream is buckling uh, with that cold air coming in from the north. And in advance of that, we're okay with uh, temperatures as warm as 77 in Montgomery. 74 for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham at 72, 60s north of here. But tomorrow's going to be a different kind of day. Look at the numbers up north. At cold front at mid-afternoon, uh, coming on through uh, places like Wichita, Kansas City, St. Louis, Indianapolis, and back in the core of that cold air, uh, they're barely above 10 degrees. And that's a 1,040 millibar high over North Dakota. Very cold air. And uh, nothing's going to hold that back. We'll feel that in full force uh, tomorrow into Wednesday morning. And you're going to see all kind of freeze warnings going up here. And again, that kind of varies from weather service office to weather service office. A lot of places have had multiple freezes. Some offices don't issue those anymore. We're going to see a freeze down at the Gulf Coast. That's a bottom line. Even places like Mobile and Pensacola and Panama City will have a freeze by Wednesday and Thursday morning. Here's the rain for the next five days. Now, this carries us through Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, and this is showing rain amounts of about one-hundredth to one-tenth of an inch. There could be a sprinkle tomorrow and maybe a sprinkle or two on Saturday, but really the better chance of showers, I think, this weekend will hold off until Sunday based on the things we see now. And this is the snow. If you're looking for winter weather, Again, the big numbers over the next 24 hours will come over western Pennsylvania, parts of eastern Ohio, and much of West Virginia, on up into upstate New York. And look at the lake effect snow machine that will be cranking up uh, through parts of Michigan, beginning to look a lot like the season, you know. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the uh, GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. You can see that very strong energy diving through the trough over the east. Down below that, it's going to be a windy day. I mean, we're looking at north winds averaging 15 to 25, gusting to 30. I'll have to hang on to your hat. And in terms of uh, temperatures, you know, it depends on where you are. If you're like in the Shoals or you know, Moulton or someplace like that up in the northwest part of the state, your high might come at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning and you'll drop into the 40s and stay there all day. Uh, for Birmingham, we might make it to low to mid 50s, but we'll drop back in the 40s tomorrow afternoon. And in terms of rain with that uh, push of cold air, this is the uh, high res NAM valid at 10 o'clock local time tomorrow. And you can see maybe a few sprinkles, a little drizzle coming through up uh, to the north of us. And uh, somebody around here might see a raindrop or two, but it should not amount to much, kind of like the deal Saturday night. Don't think we have any significant uh, rain or nothing to measure. And then Wednesday, we'll have sunshine in full force. That high settles in uh, pretty close by. And uh, it's going to be cold Wednesday morning. Again, those are some numbers coming off the high res NAM, and they've got us down in the 20s. Uh, the latest GFS numbers I've seen off the other model have us at 26. I think most places will be somewhere between 23 and 29. And that's very close to record levels. Our record low for Birmingham is 22 uh, early Wednesday morning, set back in 1911. And look at the anomalies, temperature anomalies, the departure from average 25 degrees below average in some spots from uh, Texas on through the Gulf Coast states. So this is a big anomaly for mid-November. This is Thursday. Thursday morning is going to be cold, too. We go back in the uh, 20s. Uh, same thing. I'd say 22 to 29. But during the day Thursday, we start to warm up as we go back in the 50s. Uh, we won't get out of the 40s on Wednesday, by the way. This is Friday, and uh, Friday we'll see a high at or just over 60, and moisture starts to come back west of the state. Evidence of maybe a little rain around Memphis Friday. I think we'll be mostly dry. All right, weekend fans, uh, let's talk about it. This is Saturday, and this is suggesting off the GFS the better chance of rain as well to the west of here over Texas, Arkansas, maybe parts of Louisiana and Mississippi. 
this is the high-res European outlook uh, for uh, Saturday afternoon, showing nothing here. So uh, the odds of rain on Saturday at this point look very, very small. We might just mention a slight chance now, but we might be able to take that out later. But on Sunday, yeah, here comes the rain. Uh, the GFS depicting a, a higher chance of rain Sunday afternoon. It's got a max over uh, West Alabama, and this is the GFS, and it's got a pretty decent chance of showers statewide. So clearly, of the two days over the weekend, the better chance of getting wet will be Sunday. I can't say there's no chance of rain Saturday, but for now, the chance looks small. Uh, no severe weather on Sunday, just showers. I guess some thunder is possible, but there's no major dynamic forcing. And this is Monday, a week from today. Energy is moving on to the east, and we're getting back into a new surge of colder and drier air. Uh, with a 1032 high around Kansas City, that pushes the moisture out. We'll probably see highs dropping back in the 50s on Monday with a pretty good north breeze. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is the 27th of November, the day before Thanksgiving. This allegedly is the biggest travel day of the year. It just seems like yesterday we were... You know, starting off the new year, and here we are talking about Thanksgiving. Well, th remember, this is pure speculation. This is not a forecast. We're just showing you this for trends. And uh, the GFS depicting shortwave energy just west of here with a batch of showers from uh, Lake Charles and New Orleans up through Little Rock, Memphis, St. Louis, Kansas City, Des Moines. The really cold air is bottled up in Canada, and I'd say that is the consistent thing we have seen. We've not seen a look where really super cold air gets down in here late this month but that's just the way it looks now we'll be watching for changes as we get closer to good old thanksgiving that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes in the blog next video here by seven o'clock tomorrow morning if you can catch us on abc 3340 news this evening on the live stream or the television side at four five six and ten thanks for watching have a wonderful evening and god bless